All right, so welcome to part two of this week's Facebook Friday Q&A, even though this video is coming up on Saturday. Thanks again to all you guys that submitted your questions. Without any further ado, let's get going. Brandon Leslie, should Curtis Axel be a comedy character nicknamed Mr. Imperfect? Huh. Why not? However, if you're going to allude to him being third generation, you're going to occasionally mention that his dad was Mr. Perfect. Maybe he should have the same fucking last name. Does that make sense to anybody else at all? Michael Cohen, do you think that fans will boo The Undertaker at WrestleMania since he's facing Bray Wyatt? Uh, no, I think if they would boo in general, it would just be more out of overall frustration and anger level with the WWE and really not wanting to see this match. American Alicard Scott, do you think WWE will actually give Divas a chance? I know you're not being serious with that question. You asked that question specifically to get that reaction out of me. Well, mission accomplished. You got that reaction out of me. Also, how do you feel about more wrestlers merging legit fighting arts into their in-ring work? To a degree, I'm okay with that. However, like for a while, when I would watch ROH, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I'm watching fucking karate. If I wanted to watch karate, I'd go to a local fucking dojo and maybe would even try to become a fucking black belt myself. I want to watch professional wrestling to watch professional wrestling. It's okay to have a hybrid of different things, but when it's too much of any one thing that's not actual professional wrestling, it becomes ridiculous. And I hate it. And I hated what ROH was doing there for a while with everybody doing this karate and ninjutsu crap. It's stupid. If you want to do that, then go do fucking martial arts. Go do fucking karate. Go do UFC. That's wrestling. It's not UFC. It's not mixed martial arts. It's not martial arts. And then also, why does ROH, Lucha, and TNA have better in-ring action than WWE? But WWE is considered the number one company in terms of wrestling. Leave money out of the answer, please. No! Because professional wrestling, sports entertainment, whatever the hell you want to call it, American Alicard Scott, is a business. That's why WWE is considered the number one wrestling company is because they are, because they make the most money. Simple question for you. Would you rather be the guy that flips and kicks his way to a five-star classic in front of 250 people for 75 bucks? Or would you rather be the guy that five moves of dooms his ass in the main event at WrestleMania to a massive payout? If you are just a believer in your own bullshit and the markest of marks, you're going to say, I want to flip my kick and put myself in a five-star classic for 75 bucks, and I'll starve on tuna fish and water. Well, me, being a businessman, would sit there and want to five moves of doom my ass to a main event spot at WrestleMania and get that massive payout so that way I can eat steak. That's why. And I guess a lot of ways when we talk more so in depth in terms of the in-ring action of an ROH or a Lucha or a TNA, is it all that great? I've said before that a lot of the reason hardcore fans still watch WWE is because the only thing they get is the in-ring action. But how much of that is really all that good either? How much of the in-ring action in general is good today? There's far too many false finishes, far too little selling, way too many high spots, way too much kicking. Not enough actual wrestling. Not enough actual storytelling. I don't give a fuck if you like ROH or TNA or Lucha and you get pissed off at this. The fact of the matter is it's not fucking gymnastics. It's not karate. Flipping and kicking and high spotting your ass off doesn't make it a good match either. How about that? CT General, what did you think about the Rock's heel promo in Toronto in 2003? One of his better promos. I loved heel Rock so much, man. He was fucking awesome. Uh, Chris Wasson, who's the greatest European champion of all time, excluding those who won the title and then went on to win the WWE title? Shane McMahon, man, when he feuded over the fucking European title just in general. Mm, he's a great European champion. X-Pac was a great European champion. There were a lot of really good European champions. Uh, Pat Pizzini, have you noticed since WrestleMania 21, every uneven... Even-numbered WrestleMania happens to suck, and every even-numbered WrestleMania happens to range from good to memorable. Uh, yeah, there's been a pattern there. I don't think WrestleMania 22 was all that good. I don't think WrestleMania 26 is anything to brag about. But when you say you know 25 was a major letdown and disappointment, 23 was so-so. I thought it was better than 22 or 26. 
Um, you sit there and say 27. Yeah, 27 sucked. They threw 27 under the bus for 28. But 28 was really good. 29 was mediocre. 30 was really good. You know, felt like a WrestleMania again. 31, shaping up to be a forgettable show. So there's a part of the pattern to it. You know, 27 bad, 28 good, 29 bad, 30 good, 31 going to be bad, maybe 32 be really good. Luke wins Steely. Should Alex Riley win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal? He should make it to the final two and get eliminated by Mark Henry. How about that? Stephen Lee Taylor. Uh, how's the missus and any thoughts on marriage? Uh, uh, um, um, next question. Uh, Dave Hagan. Uh, if the streak did end, should The Undertaker beat Brock last year, then lose to Bray this year? If you were going to do that, then that's fine with me. Anything than what the fuck they did do. Maybe end it this year. Have Wyatt face Taker last year. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Ben Scott. Which is more tolerable? Cena wrestling match or a Roman Reigns pro promo? Well, at this point in time, it's a Reigns promo. In part because we've seen far fewer of them over the years and they tend to be shorter. I've seen a lot more Cena matches over the years and they tend to be longer. Jeremy Adams. What was so bad about Mike Adamley? Because I really don't remember. That's to your benefit, really. And why does no one ever talk about that dumb K-Fed storyline? Because, again, that's to all of our benefits, really. Matt from In The Rope Show wants to know, would you care to see Goldust versus Stardust at WrestleMania 31 with Dusty Rhodes as a special guest referee? If, as Duke Morris once suggested, he came out as Polka Dust, you're goddamn right I would. Oh, man, could you imagine that he'd come out in his old polka dot outfit with maybe a polka dotted boa blowing out polka dots? Oh, fucking baby. That would be a dust bowl if there ever was one. And then his other question would be, um, when can I have you back on the In The Rope show so I can take another ass whooping at your hands and a rant off? Oh, whenever you want. Hopefully some point in time before WrestleMania. Just make it happen. Uh, David Verrett. Is Vanilla Ice working as a commentator on NXT under the name Corey Graves? <laughs> How dare you insult Vanilla Ice by comparing him to Corey Graves. <laughs> Paul Timas, what will NXT's presence be at Mania in, in your opinion? They'll work some of the access crap, and hopefully they'll actually have a match on uh, the actual show itself. They may just be stuck on the pre-show. I think personally they should have a match on the show. It should be the curtain jerker for the NXT title. But again, that's just me. Probably going to be on the pre-show. Antoine Dupree, do you think the WWE should have better or more popular musical artists perform at WrestleMania or should they just do away with musicians to begin with? I'd be a favor for either of them. Frankly. Jesse Schwab, why does WWE still try with Jack Swagger? I don't fucking know. I don't get it and I don't care. Maybe he has a picture of Vincent Pat running a train on a rabbit named Kevin Dunn. I don't know. Alfredo Andres Regalado, do you think Sting and Undertaker will have a promo segment before Mania? Maybe before Mania 32, but not before Mania 31, sadly. Norbert uh, Suzuka. Who will win at WrestleMania, Cena or Rusev? You know where the smart money is. Hope we're wrong, but you know where the smart money is going to be. Jared Anthony Simmons, do you think an earlier heel turn for Hogan around WW or 92 in WWF would have worked? Nah, he needed to go to WCW in order to pull off that heel turn. I don't know if he would have ever been committed enough to it. I don't know if Vince would have ever been committed enough to it. I don't know if the WWF fans at that time would have been committed enough to it. It just wasn't right. It was better for him to do it down at WCW. Uh, let's see here. Chris William, are you happy that there's a multi-person ladder match at WrestleMania? If it was for Money in the Bank, yes. For the IC title, stupid. George Jones, are you growing a mustache? Sometimes I wonder if that's what it's supposed to be. I wonder. Yes, in theory, I am trying to grow a mustache. Why? Don't know. Just want to do it. See what happens. See if I'll look any different. But you can barely fucking see it. It really doesn't grow in. And I don't know what the hell you would call this thing at this point in time. It's not very good. Uh, Jack Dunn, your thoughts on WWE electing Triple H and Stephanie to the board of directors? It was inevitable. It was going to happen. You know, at this point in time, who else are we going to put on the board of directors? You know, I don't have any problem with that. That's their business. They do what the hell they want to do. I'm not a stockholder in the company at the moment. If I was a stockholder, 
and had any desire to be a stockholder, I probably have an entirely different opinion. But as of the moment, I don't. That's stockholder business. Uh, Stephen Penafield, do you think WWE should have a draft every two years where they get talent from around the world to bring them to NXT and eventually to the main roster? Would it work? I uh, no, no, just no. Sorry, just no. Jonathan Pittman, what are your thoughts on Rey Mysterio apparently retiring from WWE and not getting so much as a promo segment to say goodbye to his fans? I'll talk about that in the Triple Threat on Sunday. How about that? Constantinos Papakostas, if Brian Batista and JYD formed a stable, would they be called The Farm? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> There we go. Nice spin on something. Dean Hacks, Hoaxed, and Carroll. Am I the only one that takes a nap during an AJ Lee segment? I take a piss and or shit. Not a nap, though. So maybe you will be alone. Maybe not. Apparently Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn take a segment or a nap during an AJ Lee or any Diva segment. So, yes, actually, you're not alone. Uh, Chris Luck, do you think that WrestleMania 31 main event will be a mess? Could very well be. Could be a real unmitigated disaster. Lesnar leading the match and potentially his last match in the company with no real contractual obligations afterwards, taking on a still somewhat green Roman Reigns in the most important match of the most important show of the year. How do you think that's going to go? <laughs> Chris Hoffman, do you think an NXT championship match should, could be the pre-show or the opening match on Mania 31? I just asked this a little bit ago. Yes, I think it could be. Yes, I think it should be. Probably more so going to be on the pre-show, even though I think you can make an argument that it maybe should be on the main card. Uh, Curtis Carmarda, if you could go back and change someone's booking from WrestleMania 30 to now to main event WrestleMania 31, who would it be? Mm. Does it have to be to main event WrestleMania 31? If I was going to go back and change one guy's booking, I would change Cesaro's booking. But it wouldn't be to main event him at 31. It would just be to do something better with him at 31. Otherwise, if I was going to do it to main event someone at 31, it would be Bray Wyatt. It would have to be Bray Wyatt. Uh, Ryan Sanderson, do you think the Nation of Domination could be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? Oh, my God. WWE likes to keep their black guy quotient at one Hall of Famer per year more often than not. So... I don't know if we'll ever see that. <laughs> Alexis Panayidis, would, what would be the optimal finish for both Taker and Bray Wyatt at their upcoming match at WrestleMania? To realize that this is going to be stupid and nobody really wins, and therefore, as a result, just not even do it. Uh, Brad Jominet, do you think this year would have been a better year for Undertaker to lose a streak? No, not necessarily. Mm -mm. No. Uh, Josh Allen, do you think Vince McMahon has abandonment issues? No, I think Vince McMahon has old age issues and out-of-touch issues. Thomas Doble, are you still happy that Roman beat Daniel Bryan? Now the main event is shaping up to be one of the worst manias in history. Well, it's not like they really had a main event for WrestleMania anyways, as I've talked about before. And always remember, you never really know with the Schleg Daddy why I really want something. Why did I really want Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? Keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Joseph Humphreys. If uh, Orton has a raging ring boner, what does Rollins have? Uh, hmm. The slightly recessed reduction rocket? I don't know. <laughs> it most certainly doesn't have a raging ring boner, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, Taryn T. Rooks, if Jeff Jarrett was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame, how would you react? Assume Jeff Jarrett position. Go. I'm not assuming the Jeff Jarrett position for that. It's ridiculous that you would even ask that question. It's ridiculous that you would even insinuate that would be something that he actually deserved or could possibly ever be happening. So, no, you're not getting an assume Jeff Jarrett position out of me for that. That's being saved for a special time, a special moment, in a special place. And you'll get it when you get it, and that's it. Period. So thanks again to you guys. I couldn't get to everybody's questions, but I got to most of your questions. Thank you again for submitting your questions and posting them for this week's q and I'll be back Wednesday with another Q&A episode, I believe, or maybe next Friday. I'm not sure. But make sure you check out all the other content here on OTRS Central. Goodbye.